Welcome back for Happy Hour. We're back with Sean Collier from Pittsburgh Magazine. And you can see Selena has joined us as well because it is Happy Hour, so we must include her. Absolutely. Well, thank mm -hmm. you guys. I am honored of to be course. here as always. And here to mix up a batch of fresh new summertime drinks for us is Dave Kiawa, and he is from Pennsylvania Fine Wine and Good Spirits. And it looks like we have a lot of great drinks yeah, ahead of us. We do. We do. You know, it's summer, summer, summertime, right? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> time to kick back and unwind wine so when the heat goes up we want to cool down a little bit and these cocktails will not disappoint the first one I have is one called a sage lime smash and it starts out with uh, Jose Cuervo's Tradicional this is a reposado tequila so it's a tequila that's been aged in oak oh wow. I'm gonna put two ounces of that into my shaker mm -mm -mm. yeah Starting off with a good base. This is kind of like a, almost a sagey margarita when it's done. Oh, uh, interesting. I'm going to add just a, a, about a tablespoon of agave nectar. So basically it's made from the same thing that tequila is, but non-alcoholic. Mm -hmm. We're going to put in a half a lime and some sage. And then we're going to muddle that together. Now the reason why we muddle things, obviously we want to liberate the juice from the limes, but we also want to crush up that sage a little bit because it really gives it a beautiful spiciness to this drink. So we'll just shake that up just a little bit and we'll go ahead and pour that right into our... And agave is, it's popular in drinks now. It's supposed to be pretty decent for you, right? Well, what's nice about it is it acts as a natural sweetener, mm -hmm. so it actually mm -hmm. adds a little bit of sweetness to the drink. But well, go ahead and give that a sip oh. and see what you think, Selena. <laughs> oh, I would be happy to. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the idea of sage in it because I yeah. think of sage at oh. like Thanksgiving, not for summer drinks. Yes. Thank you. It really adds Good. a savory component to a drink that you would think of as just a normal margarita. It's refreshing. Well, yeah. It's really well, refreshing. Yeah. And, and, All right. And, and for the, 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 the tequila you used, really makes it, you know, not harsh, just very mellow and oh. smooth. Like you said, a perfect mm -hmm. summer drink. Oh, no question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very we'll keep nice. Keep this one over by me. Yeah. 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 All right. So Absolutely. So moving on to the next one. We're going to move on to the next one, which is called the operator. Not the smooth operator, because I don't want to sing again, but uh, just the <laughs> operator. I'll sing for you. <laughs> so we're going to do two ounces of New Amsterdam gin. So if we think about what gin is, gin's a neutral spirit, so think vodka right. with a little bit of botanicals infused, mm -hmm. mostly juniper berry. Okay. So we're going to add one ounce of pineapple juice. Kind of tropicals it up a little bit. I love anything bit. with pineapple juice. I don't know about you guys. I, I know it's, it's zesty. It's, yeah. It gives a little puckery. That tiki feel. Yes. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. And then one ounce of orange juice. So there's your operator, aka smooth operator. The smooth operator. <laughs> now, do you come up with all these drinks? Well, we, it, it's kind of a team collaboration, Ooh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's part of your job. Your correct. job is to like map out these recipes for us. Correct. Wow. Correct. Absolutely. Good job, Dave. <laughs> oh, that's great. And with yeah. the orange juice. And we just keep passing them down. Oh, yes. With the orange juice, it is a morning beverage. This is entirely appropriate <laughs> for 9.15. It, yes, it it's is. perfect for mm -hmm. this time oh, of yeah. day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another winner. So the next one we have is Cupcake Vineyards French 75. And it Ooh. starts out with a little bit more gin, but this is a London dry gin. And of course it is, because it has a little derby hat How there cute. on the top. So yeah. that comes, the bottle comes that way. Correct, that's, oh, the, that's wow. the actual lid. What a little sales if you gimmick, I like if that. If you try to wear that, you know you've had too much. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> and, so, and then Selena advice, immediately <laughs> tried to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> so an ounce and a half of Brooker's gin. Okay. And then we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice and just balance that out with a little bit of simple syrup, about a half an ounce. So a little bit of tart, a little bit of sweet. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna to top it off with Prosecco. So Prosecco is kind of Italy's answer to champagne. Right. So it's mm -hmm. a sparkling wine from Italy. And then finally, just to really give it a nice summer feel, we're gonna put uh. in some thyme and a little uh, oh. lemon Look how in the that top. Is. What a difference the garnish can make on a drink. When you that. present this Whoop. to a guest, where's my? There we yeah. Go. When you present this to a guest, I mean, it's just oh, so impressive because it, now, do you drink it with ahead. the time sticking out, or would would you take that out? Yeah, I like to I like to push it down in there. Actually, we'll push it down in there. You okay. get a little time essence yeah. into the drink itself. But otherwise, if you try drinking it, it's going to go up Sean's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Which well, it's part of the entertainment portion of the program. I mean, think how healthy we had orange juice. Now we have some right. vegetables in yeah. here. Yeah, it's great. Agave. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> we're all trying everything. Uh, my friend Melanie has lavender in her garden that she picks oh, fresh oh. Oh, and like puts that. in cocktails. It adds so much to have that little <laughs> little bit of an herbal element in there, doesn't it? It really does. It really does. It just adds to the complexity of the. Oh, that's my favorite. 
Hang on to it. Yeah. I'll keep this. Good, good. <laughs> well, the final one we have is one called a 360 Cherry Cooler. Starts out with 360 Vodka, and mm -hmm. 360 Vodka is an American-made product, and it's gluten-free. So for people that have oh. issues with celiac, it's perfect for that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna so add, is all vodka gluten-free or no? Not this necessarily. Is specific. Okay. Not necessarily. Some of it's made from grain, and you have to be careful. Okay. Some of it's made from potatoes, various other know. things. So we're going to add two, two, and two. Two ounces of vodka. Two ounces of lemon lime soda. I use Sprite. Two ounces of lemonade, and just a hint of grenadine. And the grenadine's in there just to give it a little cherry flavor. Oh, and so that's course, I've heard of grenadine, but I didn't know what the flavor was. It's cherry. It is. It's got some pomegranate and cherry in there as well. Okay. And then we'll garnish that off with the main thing in a Shirley Temple when, yeah. you, when you're oh, a kid. It? There's oh, a yeah. grenadine alcohol-free cocktail. Would you like to try that, Sean? Mm-hmm. So the only difference between this and a Shirley Temple, obviously, is this has alcohol Very in it. Right. So oh, this really just gives us a chance to remind everybody why these cocktails are delicious. Mm -hmm. Please drink them responsibly. Mm -hmm. And you are at the uh, the location in Pleasant Hills, right? I am in Pleasant so Hills. So you're, you're going to be there. Will you be there later today if people want to come and see you in person I'll and just find exactly. out exactly, get some tips from you? Perfect. I okay. would I would love that. Yeah, well, I'll be we back love at the having store you on as soon as I can too. clean up and, and get back. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for being here, Dave. It's and look pleasure. for these drink recipes at PittsburghTodayLive.com. I know you'll want to check them out. And with summer vacation season in full swing, see how to make your home safe while you're away. That is coming up next. Mikey Hood has it in today's PTL Tech Center Report. And then a little later, Sean and I get a fresh new look of fashion for men with Pittsburgh-based RevTown. They're here to help us dress for $300 or less, so we will show you that. Stay with us here as PTL continues.